Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Thakar Ki Parshala. So today I will try to explain you about working principle of ELCB and how it actually works in the faulty condition. So basically ELCB is a protected device which gives protection against the earth current and it is also used to save human lives from electric shock. So let's see how this thing actually work and prevent such hazardous condition. You can see the basic circuit diagram of ELCB. This dotted region is the ELCB portion. It consists of a circuit breaker, relay and a core balance current transformer which is also called as a CBCT. I will talk about this later. And this is the test button by pressing which you can test the ELCB whether it is working or not. Apart from that this is our line conductor, this is neutral and this is the earth conductor. This is the load which represent our household equipment. Let's take the first scenario in which everything works just fine. There is no fault. So in this case what happens is that the current entering from the line conductor will be equal to the current leaving from the neutral conductor. But the direction of both will be opposite. So as per Fleming's law the flux will induce in the core. But as the magnitude is same and the direction is opposite. So they will eliminate the effect of each other. So there will be no residual flux in the core of CBCT transformer. As there is no flux, so no flux will link to the residual current sensing coil. So the current will not induce in this and system is working just fine. But if there is fault, let's say current is being leaked from the bare wire which is touching the body of device. So some amount of current which is entering from the line conductor will be grounded via earth conductor. So there will be difference in the magnitude of current entering and leaving coil. Hence the difference in current will induce some residual flux in the core which then link with the residual current sensing coil and that current will work as signal for relay and relay will send operating signal to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker will interrupt the contact. Hence, we can prevent this type of faulty condition. The operating sequence will remain same if the human or anyone touch this type of surface or bare wire. The amount of current entering body will make the difference to the outgoing current and we can save human lives. I think you have get cleared all of your doubt about working of ELCB. If you have any query or suggestion, so let me know in the comment section. If you think that someone can get benefit from it, then share it with them. And if you have liked this video, then press that like button and for future updates, hit that subscribe button. To get some motivational quotes and images, you can also like our Facebook page. Link is in the description box. Thank you.